one of the most beloved fighters in English boxing history, Ricky Hatton. Floyd was the best pound for pound fight in the world. For a score from the crowd, or at least as long as Hatton is functionally Alrighty, welcome back to episode 5 of Playing as the Underdog. And today we're playing as one of my favourite British fighters, Ricky Hatton, who was two wins away from being considered the GOAT. Now so far, playing mostly as the Underdog, I have a master record of 62 and 5. But today we are facing a high-ranked player with a better record than mine. And he's playing as the highest rated character in the game, Sugar Ray Robinson. All odds are against me in this one, but I'm up for the challenge. Enjoy! All right, I have no idea how this is going to go, but I really want to keep my win streak going. And I'm fighting against someone who is a high, high ranked player. He's had over 60 matches and only about, I think, four losses. And that's in ranked. Now, Sugar Ray Robinson is extremely fast and has high perks. So this isn't going to look pretty at least the first round, but just bear with me. Because this round is typically where I just develop patterns by the way guys if you like technical breakdowns do make sure to subscribe okay, ready i can see one pattern we can use his swaying to our advantage the key is going to be body shots not necessarily this round i think this round is just getting in short short jabs now the biggest problem with robinson is he has the ability to punch through your guard you know so and that usually happens when you when you're on the center line as you can see there you know, my guard is up. He's just punching through it. Okay, so the hooks. You saw I threw some body shots. That's not going to work for me right now. It's just way too fast. He's way too alert. And this guy, he's not going to be a slouch, right? He's had way too many wins. Possibly he's gone through some adversity. And we really need to challenge that. And I don't know yet what that will be, but um, I need to be on my A game. That's a well-placed jab. And he reacted to it, which is interesting. This counter puncher is gonna Lovely wait for you body to shots in the corner, but as you can like see, he's punching straight through stop. my punches, and this is going to be a big problem for me. So any combo I, I throw, he can land something in between and daze me. So as long as we don't get knocked down this round, we should be fine. I just have to pick my shots. And, and there you go. As I said it, you know, I'm pretty sure I threw a hook and he got me with an uppercut whilst I was throwing the hook. But well, we survived. Well, that seemed to be like a feeling. Does that one count for too much? I was just dazed, I was knocked down. But that's to be expected. When you fight Sugar Ray Robinson, who can punch through your guard, it's going to happen. Now, for those who don't know, my rating is 82 as Ricky Hatton. His rating, I believe, is 91 as Sugar Ray Robinson. Now consider as well, he's a ranked, high-ranked player. So this is an uphill battle. But I do believe in myself. There you go. I'm really just seeing if he bites to my counters. I'm not trying to get him. Main thing is, there you go, lovely, lovely. So if I sidestep off to the right, he's not too great at dealing with that now. So let's see if he adapts. He there you go. See, look, he's moving off to the right now. I mean, to the left. Interesting. Catching me with the jab. And he's he's slightly off the center line. He's, he's, he's not a bad player. He's not just spamming. Okay, that's spamming. But that's going to be in my benefit. There you go. Body shot. All of these will count. That's not working for me right now. But, but I'll make it work eventually, hopefully. I'm feeling a little bit more in control in this round. Nice. Body shot again. I need him to throw more. There you go. That's what I want. I want him to throw more. Like three, three or four shots in the air to tire him out. That's a scoring left hand. Far more even round now, right? Look at the difference between round one and two. So sometimes you just have to take the kitchen sink, survive it, and see if these guys, see if the bullies can handle being bullied, you know? Lovely. Now I'm getting tagged. It's a very dangerous game I'm playing, but you know what? That body is going to get broken down. It's just finding the angles to reach it. Now, I'm not blind. I was a bit sloppy, but overall, I'm very happy with that round. 
you know, and I think his confidence will be waning at this point. Some people can get really high ranks if they're playing against those who aren't able to adapt. And, and that's what I'm all about. Working in the trenches, sort of having your back against the wall. Breaking my opponent is more important sometimes than even winning. Of course, you want to get the win, but if, for example, you're facing someone using cheats and you're able to go all 12 rounds, that's like a mini victory in some way. One moment changes everything, especially okay, he's a bit more position. stationary now, you see. He's still moving, but when he's throwing multiple shots, he's kind of relying a little bit on spammy shots, as you can see. And that puts me in a lot of danger, to be honest. And I shouldn't really be going for these, these body shots uh, or body hooks. Body jabs might be a better strategy. I think it's safe to say one of these fighters there you go. has a significant Switched up the uh, advantage. to the right. You can tell who it is. Lovely, yeah, lovely. Fast fighter, fast fighter. We need more of that. He is having to think at rapid speed right now and he's not used to it. Lovely. So you see how he's, he's sort of throwing in midair. I mean, me throwing in midair is one thing because I'm the smaller man, less power, I'm slower. He should be the one in control. But he is, he's keeping, ooh, ooh, ooh. Nice little left shovel hook. Yeah, lovely body shot. I don't really want to compete with him with the jab. He's, he's like a piston here. Precision is key. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. God, he's really tagging me up with that jab, but it's all right. Lovely. Yeah, he definitely caught up towards the end. I think where, what will be his downfall, which will give me the advantage again is is cardio. I actually won that round. I guess it's fixed the earlier part of the round. I was doing better, which is great. At least we got one round and, and that's going to now be embedded in his head. See how he plays now that he's seen the score. Good one. Okay, so notice how he's playing now. He's, he's trying to pick his shots. He's not I don't want to say spamming, but you know, let's just say spamming as much. I do believe this will be in my favor, though. I think I'm, the more, um, I'm more of a specialist. At least I like to think I am. Let's see how it works. Oh, he's, he's making mistakes. He's making mistakes. Nice. I'm blocking a lot. He didn't take that jab well Trying to get in little shovel um, jabs up close. Look, he doesn't like it because he knows that it, the jab will be quicker than his uh, hooks. And he's losing a lot of energy right nice now. Exchanges from both men in this round. Energy now, if I were Sugar Ray Robinson and I had someone constantly pushing forward, I wouldn't be throwing a ton of jabs, which I'm like sure I'm getting tagged, but I'm mostly blocking, right? I would be... Sidestepping, throwing a, a lot of body shots and just keeping a keen eye on my cardio and then I'd go for the kill. But because I'm using so many angles and catching him with my own body shots, he's finding it difficult. But I know how to keep my distance from this jab now. And look at these body shots. Oh, this is beautiful. This round could go either way. 10 seconds to go. Getting his rhythm down now. Beautiful, beautiful. Right, that's a great end to the round. It's just a shame it is the end because now he has a chance to adapt. I think this is where we're really going to work out as well if he's dealt with adversity before. Because I have a feeling he's going to end up reverting back to the spamming technique. And at this stage... The more he throws, even if he lands, as long as he doesn't land clean, the more susceptible he is to me. Yep. So let's stay on the outside. Occasionally go in and don't throw anything. Just to get him, get him using up his uh, cardio. I don't know what happened there. But that's good. Look, he's throwing uppercuts now. Again, that's just wearing out his cardio. Two body shots. 
He knows. He's panicking. Let's get him in the corner. He's seeing the green numbers. Completely shot. He's going to recover because he's Sugar Ray. Throw a hit. Oh! Clean KO. That's a clean KO against a high-ranked player using the most exploited player in the game with the strongest chin, the fastest jab. And we just knocked him out clean with Ricky Hatton, who has a score of 82. Crazy. So I hope you guys, what you got from this is that sometimes you have to make it a fight. It's not always going to look pretty, but you saw towards the end, I was able to make it extremely technical to where this perfectly placed counter hook ended it all. Please give this video a like and let me know in the comment sections what you thought of this playthrough and what you think of the game so far, pros and cons. Subscribe if you haven't already. Enjoy the weekend guys, peace.